dysfunctional vet. This is a look inside the Starlink. This lid is physically glued down and this is glass. The way I got it apart was I used a small screwdriver in here till I could get a larger screwdriver in here and then I went down the length of this plastic prying it free. This plastic is flexible. If you go slow you'll be able to get it out intact. It's got a really good adhesive on it and it could be removed but you'd need a razor blade to do that. Inside you have these points where when this board is pressed down a hot iron melts this plastic down so that this thing is secured in place. This is just a plate and I'm thinking based on my knowledge of electronics and radio that this is basically Faraday cage. I don't know that for a fact but I'm thinking it is. Inside here you have a number of caps or capacitors. I have not exactly figured out for sure what this is yet. It says 370 volts but I don't know if that's a serial number or actual volts. This runs on 110. The power comes in here. You have two of these. Well you have this one and then you have this one right here and they're slightly different from each other. Not much but a little bit. This looks more like a transformer and this is obviously set up like a transformer but I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. You have chokes on here and this piece is unidentified. There's no numbers, there's no nothing on it. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. This is a 450 volt 68 uh, picofarad capacitor and it looks to be in good shape but it may not be. With this plastic off here, this piece can lift straight up. Just like that. The connection between this plate and the power is fed through these pins right here. The way these pins, the top row, the first of these four is an earth and ground and then 12 volts and then uh, white LED. And I'm thinking the white LED is right down here. Or let me correct that. It's right here. Then on this other piece right here it says 50 volts, 50 volts, ground which is pin 3 and then blue LED and I have never seen the blue LED but I know where it is it's right beside the red this side right here has a lot of uh, what's called surface mount technology that's these little bitty pieces here that you practically need a microscope to look at and I do not clearly see anything that's burned but this might actually be repairable, but that's going to have to wait for another day. You have these plastic spots that you have to grind off. And then this piece, again, lifts straight up. There's little grooves right here and there's little grooves right here and this is where your power plugs in. These grooves hook this piece onto the frame so you don't break anything. When you go to the back side you'd have to trace each one of these three leads out to see where they go. The ground, which is this one, goes up here somewhere and then you have your uh, hot and your neutral if it's plugged in properly. And I'm not sure exactly where all that good stuff is going. This blue that you see on here and down inside here may be heat sink um, glue. I'm not really sure. Underneath here you've got pieces. I took this off yesterday and I did not see anything that was definitely damaged. But this has been knocked out and no longer works from lightning. If you remove this piece right here and this one, which I haven't done, the unit is completely disassembled and there's no components behind this. 
And this again I think is part of the Faraday cage which keeps spurious RF from leaking out. Again, this is conjecture on my part. And seeing how I'm going to try to repair this, I want to take care of it and put it back together. And when it comes time to uh, seal all the pieces down, I'll figure something out. This also has little flanges on it. And then the piece goes back in on top, like so. And then the glass goes down on it. And that is what's inside the Starlink pieces. Sorry I couldn't go into more detail than what I did. Um, to be real honest with you, there's not a lot of writing on the circuit boards to tell me what things are, so I'm not really sure. The bottom piece is this. If you pop it out, it, it makes no difference. It has nothing to do with accessing the inside of this thing. Dysfunctional vet out.